What's up, y'all? This is The Barber's Table with another classic. So as y'all can see at the title of this video, it's top five ways how to get a high top fade, right? Fat. So I'm no expert. I can only tell you what I've done and how I've learned it. So just know that's, pers that's the perspective I'm coming from. And if you guys love this video, if you like it, if you want to see more just like this one, you know, just click that like button below. Well, tell me what y'all think of the video in the comment section. I'd love to hear from y'all. All right, so without further ado, first thing to do is don't cut it. That's it. Sounds basic, but too many times people, men, get to this awkward phase. Y'all know the ugly phase. We get there, and then it's like, dang, I really miss that fresh cut, that fresh wave, the fresh this, ball fade all around, look sleek, you know, throw some Dax on that thing or some oil, olive oil, whichever one you use. And then we don't got it no more. Then we're like, damn, I want to grow my hair out. Let me just keep, just keep bouncing back and forth with this. Just don't cut it. Just don't cut it. That's it. Just wait through that, man. Number two is cut it. What do I mean by that? When you have split ends at the end of your hair, it makes it harder for your hair to grow. It slows down the growth process. Too many times we separate ourselves, men and women, but the fact is we both have hair and they both work exactly the same. Same way girls, hair grows fast when you trim the ends. Same way men hair grows fast when you trim the ends. Since I cut my own hair, I tend to trim it kind of like, uh, trim it like once a month or a little a little more than that. So, I mean, I know what I'm doing because, you know, since my hair is so, it's so coily, if you just cut like this much off, like just try and trim the top of that, you usually are probably cutting a little more than you think you are. Since I already know that, I'm mindful of that. If your hair is just like mine, I'd probably blow it out before I went to my barber or have a conversation with your barber. Like if your barber knows you, then trust them enough to do it. If not, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't risk that. You can, you know, just wait, to, just take this one out. But you know, if you can, if you're willing to do this, and do number two. Number three is lock your hair. Lock is an acronym that I've learned from my girlfriend, which is uh, L-O-C, which is liquid. Um, it's a liquid oil conditioner. Okay, so you know when you get out the shower and your hair is completely soft and moist, you're like, dang, why can't I do this all the time? That's when this comes in. The reason why your hair is so soft and all that, of course we know is because of water. But what a lot of people may not know is moisture is why your, is, is what allows your hair to grow at its fastest rate. The drier your hair is, the slower it will grow, or sometimes not at all. So the more moisture you can get your hair, is the more uh, is the faster that it will ha it, it, it will happen for you. Okay. So the way this works is you have liquid, which typically is water. So you want to keep that water into your hair, just make sure that it just locks in there, right? So. Then we go on to oil. So oils and water don't mix. You put the oil on top of the water and it traps the oil, I mean the water in there. Um, that'd be good in itself. But then we put in the conditioner for the nutrients and to keep it soft and all the other good conditioner stuff. You lock the oils in as well. So now the longer you can keep your hair like that for the whole day is the better your hair will be growing. So every morning you should be doing this lock situation right when you're going to bed there's cotton there's polyester all these different cottons that touch your hair and sap the water out dries it up breaks and damages your hair when you should be keeping it moist that's where bonnets come in and it's either you have a satin pillow or you can get a bonnet to trap your hair you to, 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 to make sure that your hair is um is trapped okay and number four is comb your hair comb your hair man like I understand the curl sponge. I understand if you're using the curl sponge, that's fine. You want to even if you want to grow your hair out to use the curl sponge, make sure you comb your hair out before you use the curl sponge. Straight hair, they can wake up, wet it, boom, whatever. There's no, there's not, there's not much, there's not much work that has to be done into that. But when you have coily hair that you literally can have like trap dust and whatever into your hair, you gotta make sure you pick it out 
every single morning. Take care of your hair, fellas. And you know, I understand you can get lazy, you not know, want to pick it out, it's too much work, but in the long run, this helps your hair grow out, helps it breathe. Five, the last, not least, wait for it. That's it, trust the process. You know what I'm saying? Like you come here, you uh, listen to all what I gotta say, and you wait a week, and you're like, damn man, what's happening? I haven't been into my hair. Like bro, you've only waited a week. You gotta make sure you wait the process. For me, for it to get here, like I've had my, I've had a hot top since I was a, uh, what, junior in high school. I'm about to be a senior in college. But I cut it a lot along the way. So if I were to average it out, if I were to say, like for the length it is now, um, I probably, hmm, it's probably been a good two years, two years, two and a half. Three would be pushing it. Like I, sometimes I've cut a lot off. So it's like two, to wait two and a half years and see where you are, two years. It sounds crazy, but I mean, to get to this length, but it, it'll, you'll be fine probably like a year. Like you, you have a legit high top in like a year. But um, to get it like a, to get a substantial length, probably take like two years. So yeah, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all in the next video. See y'all later.